So I'm just going to quickly cover uh, how to tell when a pumpkin's ready to be harvested. Uh, this is the very last of my pumpkin out of my garden. They're only little ones. I've got a heap of big ones up in the house that I uh, harvested a few months ago. But I'm just going to show you um, how to tell if your pumpkins are ready to be harvested. So I have butternut pumpkins here. I'm not actually sure what this one is. I did not plant this particular one. I've planted jack pumpkins and the butternut pumpkins. So I'm assuming it's a bit of a crossbreed or something. Uh, but you can see the tops of this one uh, is very, very green. So whether the pumpkin actually is going to be edible, I'm not sure. Uh, but generally, when you are harvesting your pumpkins, you want them so that they're starting to brown off um, and really quite firm, like you basically can't even stick your fingernail into them. Um, and when you cut them off, you need a fair, about a, for a fair amount of pressure put onto it. So um, I usually do it about here. Um, I could have left these guys for a bit longer, but I'm trying to clear out of the garden what I've got in there so you can see how this one's quite brown on the outside compared to that you know if you've got the time and the space you can leave them till the vines die right off and then pick them uh, I'm trying to get my garden ready for the next lot of stuff coming through so you can see they're quite brown this one here is one of the jack pumpkins now this one's been on there way longer it's kind of going a funny, funny whitey colour. So I'll cut this open and I'll check it out, see if it's any good. It did have hollow, and you can probably see it just there, a hollow through the middle of it. Uh, so I don't know whether something's actually gone through the vine, burrowed through the vine and actually gone into the pumpkin. Um, but I'll take a look. So, But yeah, generally, the browner and harder the top of your pumpkin the stem or I call it the umbilical cord to the plant you know when the umbilical cord starts to dry off it's time to to remove your little babies so yeah that's the way to to tell uh, I mean people some people tell by the knocking noise and stuff like that but um, to me it's generally the top of the pumpkin um, do cut them off with a good amount on the end of them because this will die back um, and also bacteria will go in to this if you cut it really short the bacteria can actually get into your pumpkins that way and cause your pumpkins to rot from the inside out while you've got them in storage now when it comes to storage I'll give these guys a good wash off dry them off and put them on a shelf I've had last year's pumpkins lasted 12 months before the last pumpkin um, actually rotted sitting on the shelf. So they will sit between 6 to 12 months sitting on your shelf. Just check them uh, regularly. If they look like they're getting soft in a spot, grab it out, use it, um, chop it up, do whatever it is you need to do with it to use it up so but they will last and store really quite well um, they start to cool dry dark place uh, mine was just in the dining room on my cabinet so uh, there's no direct sunlight into that room there is a window but it wasn't direct sunlight to where the guys where the pumpkins were sitting so they lasted the last one uh, went rotten about I know two weeks before I started harvesting this year's pumpkins so um, but yeah just remember to keep an eye on them uh, once one starts to go and you leave it there it'll the, it'll transfer through to the next one and then you'll lose all of them so uh, so that's that's how you can tell if your pumpkins ready the brown of the umbilical cord the readier the pumpkin is all right just give them a wash dry them off well store them in a nice cool no direct sunlight have a good day, guys.